It really frustrates me when musicians don't get the same kind of rights and support from the government that the quote traditional employee does. Now, I mean, I think it's really true for all entrepreneurs. The government just doesn't see them as employees or, you know, people that deserve supporting if you're a gig employee. And I find this so frustrating because musicians are such hard workers and we obviously have to go seek out our gigs and bring in our income in different ways, kind of combining all these ways of bringing in income into one. And there's really no, uh, you know, set way for the government to understand how we're bringing in our income so they can't understand how to support us with things like unemployment and, you know, the PPP and all that stuff that happened. And, you know, it's also interesting when they're trying to create these laws to, quote, help gig employees, but they actually end up hindering us by saying that, you know, companies aren't allowed to, you know, hire us for lower hours or whatever, when that's exactly what we want, because we need to fill in that, you know, that time or with some other pieces of income so we can still do all of our gigs and all the things that we want to do. So we really need to band together as musicians and try to figure out how to make, you know, the government or the world understand in general how we make a living and how they can support us with that. I experienced the same thing as an entrepreneur when I was looking to buy my house recently. It was really hard to get a loan, even though I had a very stable income because they just look down on people that don't have, quote, a traditional job. And it, I can't show them pay stubs, although I can show them pay stubs, but it's not from a, quote, traditional company. Um, and especially if you're self-employed, you can't really show pay stubs from anywhere. And so it's, I just think we've created a system that is not favoring the entrepreneur, which doesn't make any sense to me as Americans because the whole point of Americans pulling themselves up from their bootstraps and you know this government is or this this country is built on self-starters and all of that and that's what musicians are we are entrepreneurs we are self-starters we are creating income out of nothing by having this art that we're able to present to people as entertainment um, and uh, that people want to pay for and so we're basically creating a job for ourselves out of nothing. And why are we not being respected for that? So yes, this is a little bit of a rant. This is a frustration that I have and you, you can't even imagine how much I was going off when I was having such trouble getting my loan. And I'm like, I created this company out of nothing. Why am I not getting the respect for that? And why are they not believing that I can continue to bring in this income if I've done it for this many years just because I don't work for a tr corporation or something? So, you know, let's keep getting out there and trying to get people educated on how gig workers are bringing in a, a lot or, you know, a big part of the economy. I really do think that COVID has showed that how big of a part of the economy gig workers are. So let's keep trying to make people aware of that so and so we can stand up for ourselves and get the representation and the, you know, the income support that we need.